Come on, go. Hello and good morning, my fellow trucketeers. Today is Monday the 25th of November and it's a little bit wet outside but I think it's, the weather's going to subside for now. Which is good. Chance are it's going to rain so I need to get out of the truck. But see what happens when we actually get there. So we're in and around Avonmouth, Portbury Docks and in the Clifton which is pretty much Bristol. So we're around that area again which is oh, it's not bad. I don't mind doing the same areas which means I don't get as much footage as I'd like to. That's just the way it goes. I'm sure you don't want two videos within a week of me doing the same drops, but could be a chance that that might be a thing. <coughs> so we are currently just over an hour from our first drop. We're due to be there at quarter past seven. Left the yard at, well, got in at five this morning, so bit of an early ish one. Not as early as some people, but earlier than most, I'd probably say. <laughs> but hey, that's life of a trucker. So we're going to jump on the old M4 now. When the truck decides what gear it wants to be in. There we go. And I'll see you when I get near me first drop. So here we are, just coming down the M5 now. We've literally just come off the M4. It's now 7.05, so about an hour since when I started the video. So we're just rolling down the M5 now from the M4. Heading south. <laughs> I'm just about to come off at Junction 18 to uh, head to Avon now. Or Avon. Tongue got in the way there. <laughs> so we're only about two and a half miles from the drop now. I think you may have seen me do this one before. Well, I've done it a couple of times. I haven't got a booking time as such that I can see, so it's a case of just pulling up behind whoever's already out there and just sitting there and waiting. <clears throat> Only got the one pallet for them, which is right at the back, so... Shouldn't be in there too long once I do get in. Right, now I was just trying to figure out which lane I need to be in. There's a truck going to be right next to me. See, it started raining again. It'd be horrible. Always typical when you get a New Year drop. <laughs> It'll be the sunniest of sunny days, but as soon as you get near your delivery, it will start raining. <laughs> There's always a way. Now I've got to stay right, apparently. I think the roundabout I come off at, I've got to go right round on, so I think I need to move to the 
right hand lane anyway. We should do that now quickly. I'm pretty sure I've got a loop round on myself. Yeah. Third exit, fourth exit, however you look at it. Trading estate, yeah. Oh, I could have been in that lane. Never mind. We'll stay in this one. It won't hurt. It's hard to remember every road layout in the UK. <laughs> Choice really because I'm merging now. Just move over, let this truck bite. There you go. Oh, it's gonna be a horrible wet day all day, I think. I thought it was gonna be sort of. I don't know, I guess it's still morning, so it might still clear up by the afternoon. That horrible fine rain goes right through. That's <laughs> right, good thing I got my waterproof jacket today. My legs will still get wet, but your body will be warm and dry. They've got traffic lights right outside near where I need to go. That's um, really not handy. The thing is, have they got another truck in there? Or I'll just be naughty and pull straight in. I don't think anyone else is in there anyway. Nah, that's good. Alright. what side it's on but we'll pull in over it. Probably shouldn't film in it, so I'll leave it there. Alright, see you when I'm done. Alright, that's that one done. It's nice and easy. As they always are. I did get told off for facing the wrong way in the yard but <laughs> nah he is alright. driving because um drive forward to where I was because uh, the pallet was on my right hand side so I just presumed it would be easier to go that way but uh, I can't go nowhere now because everyone's in my way I'm just going to have to sit here and wait <laughs> so if I go out I'm going to hit that car or take out all the cones or something might be easier if I go right I don't know Yeah, I drove in because the pallet was on my right hand side, so I presumed it'd be easier for him to take it off that way, but he'd rather I sort of reversed in that way, which is fair enough. So, I know that for future. <laughs> I'm gonna run over a cone. Oh, I'm gonna be very close to it though. There we go. I think I missed it. It's 
So as you can see, that car was right in my way there, so they didn't lay that out very well, to be honest. Never mind. Alright, see you at the next one. Alright, so where we're going is right there. So I've just got to figure out where their loading bay is, which looks like it's about there. Got their own fuel station there. I haven't actually been to this one before, so this would be new on me. I said I've not been there before, so I've got to figure out where the entrance is. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We always do. Go, go, go! Wake up, Astra. Come on. Making a right ash brown of this. Luckily, there's uh, <laughs> no one about to upset. <laughs> Alright, apparently it's in here somewhere. <clears throat> Just in this way. Gotta find out where goods go in there. Delivery is down this way. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway. Alright, guess I've got to go ring a bell somewhere and find someone and see if they'll come out and tip me. I'm not sure whether they want me on a bay or whether they side tip me. We'll find out in a minute. See you when I'm done. Okay, second delivery done. So it wasn't too bad. We've been here, what, 55 minutes. So we had a little bit of a wait at this one. The uh, guy that was going to come tip me got called away to do something else quickly and then, and then come round to me, which is fair enough. It's what happens sometimes if something needs to do or whatever. I'll be patient in this job sometimes, it's what it entails, so yeah. Thing is, you go in kicking and you know, shouting and screaming at them about, you know, you've been there for so many hours and you need to go or whatever. Sometimes that just annoys them and then, uh, then they will take their time to tip you, <laughs> which they've got every right to do. It is frustrating sometimes having to wait, but like I said, it's all part of the job. Doesn't hurt really, to be honest. Just makes your day a bit longer, but hey, the longer you're out, the more you get paid, right? That's how it works with me, anyway. <laughs> I don't like to take me time, I like to crack on and try and get done as quickly as possible, but I don't like to hang about if I can help it. But if I do get held up, then yeah, so be it. Anyway, enough about that. I think when I left the last job I said I was going to Portbury but this isn't Portbury, this is still Avonmouth. So we've still got one more drop at the north end of Avonmouth and then we make our way down to Portbury. So yeah. So we're going to go ahead to the next one which again I'm pretty sure you've seen me do. I think I've filmed there a couple of times. So yeah. So the next one. We're in the next delivery now. Still in Avonmouth, of course. I went to the Cabot Park. Or Cabot. Depends if you're Canadian or not, I suppose. <laughs> Is there any Canadians watching? Hello! I do like the old Canadians. Seem to be a friendly bunch. I 
haven't been to this place for a little while now. A few months since I've been here. But over there, over there. First few times I went there, there was sort of an open car park, but now they've got like a um, little marquee in there now. So obviously the, the actual space in there is a little bit smaller now. But I think it makes it a bit more streamlined because I think it's where their intake area is, so it's a bit quicker to get stuff done or get unloaded even. Which is pretty good, I suppose. It's always nice when people uh, do work in their yards or whatever to make it a bit more streamlined to get in and out, get trucks in and out. Obviously the quicker we're in and out, the happier we are usually. <laughs> Van's coming in behind me, so I can't get nowhere yet. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Very kind of you. I suppose the question is, does anyone else know already? I think they've got pallets on both sides as well. No, there's no one in there, that's good. So we shall reverse in. We'll borrow this yard and then reverse it. Watch out for any of them vans, make sure they're not coming in here. Just quickly whip behind me. Get this delivery off. See you when I'm done. Okay, that's that delivery done. I've been here for I should probably write it down. 36 minutes. Which isn't too bad. There's three pallets off, so I've got nine pallets left on, and the majority of them come off at my next drop. So I've got three deliveries done, three deliveries to go. Which is quite nice. And then you're going to pull in there. It would have made a lot more sense if you just let me go and then done the manoeuvre because then you wouldn't have been under the pressure of me sat behind you waiting to go. <laughs> there we go. And you're in the hedge. Alright, so now we are heading to a port brie. We're not quite going to the docks. We're turning off just before that to the little industrial estate there. So I'll see you in roughly 15 minutes when I'm nearly there. Okay, so here we are, just come off the M5 now for Portbury Docks. I'll stay on the inside lane. There's like a million exits on this roundabout, so it always helps to stay in the correct lane. <laughs> Always a busy round about this one. Oh, excuse me. A bit tired. As always, I fall asleep early during the weekend and then. You know, doze off early on the Friday and Saturday. Comes to Sunday night, ready to wake up from Monday, and then I can't sleep. Always the way. Yeah. 
don't know why. I think it's because I catch up on my sleep during the weekend, and then it comes to Sunday night, and it's like, oh, you've had enough sleep, you don't need to sleep now. But I need to get up early. Please let me sleep. <laughs> being held up now because cars have come from that exit there and they're blocking up our lane now otherwise we could have got around the chance are our lights going to change before I get there there we go no we made it through yeah, two cars are in the front of this truck so we couldn't go around them So we got going in this place, sign in the security, go park up, go take our paperwork in, and then go sit in our cab and wait for someone to come out and tell us what bay to go on. Nice and easy. So I've got six pallets to come off here, so I could be waiting a little bit. Shouldn't be too long. But yeah, when I get on bay, I've then got to take the keys in, lock the cab, and then uh, go and sit in their waiting room. Everywhere is different. Sign him. I'll see you when I'm done. All right, that's it. That's our delivery done. Been here for an hour and fifty minutes, so it's now 11:24. So a bit of a wait, but they had quite a few trucks in there already to go on. So I just had to sit there and wait for a bay to become available. And they got me on, then I was on and off the bay in what 15 minutes. That was ideal, pretty good. I managed to get a brake while I was sat in there. As I pulled up, I thought there's a few trucks here, whacked on brake. So that's my brake done, at a 45. So that's my driving time cleared, so I should be able to work straight through now. I've got two more drops to do. And then uh, back to the yard. <laughs> so I should have plenty of time to do that. So the next drop, I can't remember if I've done it before. I think I have. There's two pallets I've got for them, and uh, I've got to head further down the M5 to get to it, I think, yeah. Oh, don't know what I'm indicating now, I'm not at the roundabout yet. So yeah, a bit of a wait at that one, but that's okay, it doesn't bother me, I'm still going to be back at a reasonable time today. It helped that I sort of had me break in there as well. Mind if I didn't put it on brake, I would have gone over me work in time, so just one of them things. So, yeah, that was good. I got my brake in there. Right, so on the M5, down to the next one. And I'll see you when I'm nearly there. So, just coming up on the next one now. When you come down one junction, yeah, we come off 19, this is 20. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, yeah, this is where we're meant to be. Um, I'll get in the second lane. I can't remember what I was going to say now. I was going to say something. <laughs> Lost for words, then. Yeah, I definitely haven't done this job before. 
I know I've come off this way to go into Nail Sea to go and do another drop, but I've never come off and actually done a drop just in here. Oh dear, broken down truck here. I'm going to guess he's broken down, because otherwise it's not a very good place to stop. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we've got two pallets for this drop and then that leaves me a one pallet on board. Which then I've got to go do a store in Clifton in Bristol Way, which is not the best place to deliver to. I think I've done it once before on video and I've done it once since. So this has only been my third time going there. It's not hard to get into, it's just that it's on a road with three lanes of one-way traffic and the entrance has just passed the bus stop, so it's, then you've got to reverse in, there's no driving forwards in, and you've got to reverse over a path with people walking, so it's quite a tricky one for just looking out for everything. You've got to have eyes, eyes everywhere on that one. I think it's the one where, I, well, I don't think I know, it's, it's the delivery where I had a cyclist as I'm sort of reversing up skim right across the front of my truck and it's like you just not realize how much danger you put yourselves in sometimes yeah other vehicles and that sort of come close to the front of me but the difference is I can see them because they're big cyclists is a bit harder to see all right enough about that Coming up on the delivery now, it's up this way somewhere. Uh, sat nav's taking me up that way, but the sign is telling me it's in here. So I'm going to follow the sign. God, Jesus, that was a bit close, pal. Oh, I couldn't exactly get much further over, and he comes racing down the side of me. I just take his mirror off in the back of my truck. Right, so we're in here somewhere. I don't know what unit it is. Can't even remember what it's called. place in it. Oh no, it's odds and evens, okay. Odds that side, evens that side. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, it is a shambles, it's all over the place. <laughs> oh, so it'll be that one there, surely. Alright, so it should be this place here. So, as their pallet is literally right behind me, I'm going to stop here and I'll get out and find someone. Yeah, this is it. Alright, I'll see you when I'm done. Alright, that's so that one done. That was nice and easy. I backed into where I pulled up to and uh, A little bit tight, but we got in. Wasn't too much drama. I'm going to hit his bins from here, I think. It's in front of me. I'm going to have to move over a bit. Otherwise, I'm going to hit stuff. Let's take a second bite of that one. There's a pallet there with something on it, so. Don't want to hit his bins. There we go. Drops are good. Oh. You're right in my way there, love. Yeah, 
Yeah, so two pallets off the back doors, and I've got one really small pallet for my last delivery now. <laughs> That's probably only a two, two and a half foot tall pallet. So, so it, weigh, it doesn't have a weight on there, so it's very light. Probably no more than about 40, maybe 50 kilos. Probably not even that. So yeah, let's leave this place. Go in the centre of Bristol, which is always fun. See you soon. Right, so we're just coming up on the next delivery now. We're about eight minutes away, so it's a bit of a drive there. So you know, hopefully you'll see uh, how terrible it can be getting in and out of this one. I don't know how busy it's going to be because it's, uh, it's going to be about lunchtime. Get well about. Yeah, about quarter past twenty past twelve I'll get there, so could be quite busy, but we'll soon see I suppose. So I've put the camera on the wing mirror so you can uh, see the manoeuvre when it comes to it. <laughs> Rather than on my face. see ahead of us we've got the old Clifton suspension bridge I don't know if you can quite see it from there but yeah wouldn't like to stand up there and look over the edge <laughs> I'm not scared of heights but that's pretty high don't know how, how high exactly that would be a job for Google that one normally come down this way that often you normally I'm sort of going out this way but today it's different <laughs> an old job I used to have years ago called Matthew's Food Group they've long gone now got made redundant from there because they went into liquidation yeah I used to come down this way every other day pretty much <laughs> so yeah I'm quite used to this road yeah, it's changed a bit over the years since I've been there it was 2006 I had that job I need this lane Heading for city centre, apparently. Now, like I said earlier, it's only the third time I've been to this place. I've only got one pallet from the day. <laughs> Just see how easy it is to get in. First time I went there, there was a foreign coach in the bus stop, and he was probably about five or six foot forward of the bus stop, completely blocking where I needed to get in. So I had to sit there and sort of beep him, sort of wave him backwards. Go back or I can't get in. <laughs> so that caused a bit of palaver. Like I said, hopefully we can get straight in today. This bike's going to come straight out of this turning. And it did slow down. me at the moment so <laughs> nobody to tell
coming in through the bottom end of this one. Actually, no, I have come in through this way before. Yeah, second time I've done it. weight on the rear axle. <laughs> Come on, people. So I need you out of the way. <laughs> I can't tell me if you lot beside me. Ah, oh, it's going to be a nightmare. Oh no, shouldn't be too bad. I do have cars beside me. Come on, go! Point of stop, do you not understand, Mr. Micro? Post fans right in my way. Silly people. As you can see, always a palaver this one. And I've got the van in the loading bay as well, so I'm over a bit. Never mind. Alright, see you when I'm done. That is that delivery done. It was not too bad. Like I said, it was one pallet I had for them anyway, so not a lot. Now I've got to try and get out of here across three lanes of uh, one way traffic. <laughs> it's always uh, exciting while well, blocking off a path at the same time. Oh, this truck's going to let me go because he can. Because he was that slow that I had plenty of time. Yeah, so you can see there's a bit of a pig to get into because no one understands that you're trying to reverse into an alleyway. <laughs> there you go. You know, even though you've got reverse lights going and hazards going. And I could have beacons and someone waving me back and people still drive right up behind you as you're trying to do it. There you go. The thing is, if I drove in there forwards, it would be impossible to back out of without causing mayhem. <laughs> so yeah, that was a very easy day. It's what, half past 12? Oh, I'll just start at five, I suppose. And it's gonna be Quarter past two by the time I get back, maybe half past two, given traffic. Oh yeah. Not a bad day. Yeah, so I took one pallet off there and put two pallets on, uh, two pallets of cardboard bales. So we are nice and light heading back to the yard. I've literally put them both on one side as well, because they're nice and light, these ones. So uh, when I get back, I've only got a whip open the one curtain, haven't taken off. So it's quite a bit of time now.
So yeah, I guess we'll leave out there. There's not much more on the day now, just the drive back home and that's it. Plenty of driving time to get there as well. Yeah, take a nice little uh, mooch on home. So yeah, if you got this far then thank you very much for watching, it is much appreciated. I scratch my nose. Uh, yeah, it's very much appreciated. I do enjoy all the uh, views and all the comments I get. All makes it worthwhile. So yeah, if you like the video then give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down, it's up to you. Don't bother me either way. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, then hit that subscribe button. You get the subscribers up a little bit, I suppose. Also, I do release my videos every Monday and Thursday at 8pm UK time. But if you want notifications when my videos are released, once you've subscribed, then hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe bar. Because, yeah, then you'll know without having to think about it. And then, if you want to, and you feel inclined to, share the video with someone you think might like it. Share the love. Get it all out there. My videos, that is. <laughs> and, uh, if you want to, leave a comment. I don't know what about. Are you a cat person or a dog person? There we go, that's a nice easy one. I like cats and dogs, but I'm slightly more swayed towards dogs. And then, if you haven't already, visit my Facebook page, w.facebook.com forward slash trocodrono, where I occasionally post up pictures about things and stuff and things and trucks and things and stuff so yeah once again thanks for watching take it easy look after yourselves drive safely and i'll see you in the next one goodbyes